What if I tell you that you can generate unlimited text to speech on your Windows PC, hundred percent free, no payment, no API cost. Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to show you how to build and install a completely free text to speech tool on your Windows PC. Yes, free of cost and unlimited. In the last video, I talked about how to fix and install OpenAI FM tool on Windows. But the main problem is even after installing it locally, you still need to pay to use it. So today I will bring in something much better. In this video, I will show you a step-by-step -step guide to configure and install a 100% free OpenAI-like text-to-speech tool that can generate voice without any limit or payment. First, let me show you a quick demo. And if you like the output and feel this tool is useful for you, continue watching this video. Otherwise, you can skip it, but I am sure you still want to watch till the end. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and let me know your feedback in the comment section. So after configuring the setup, you will see something similar kind of GUI. And in this, you have to provide your text in this section. Then you have to select the language in which you want to generate the voice. And here you will see the voice and then you can download the voice. So let me show you one example. Let me type something here and I will select a voice. Let me select any voice and then I will hit a submit button. And here you can see that now it is processing. If this video was helpful, please hit the like button, share it with others and subscribe to the channel. Let me know your thoughts, questions or feedback in the comments below. Your support really helps the channel grow and motivates me to bring more useful content like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. And you will also have an option to download the file. You have to click on this down arrow and the file is now downloaded. Okay, let me change the voice and show you another voice and let me hit the submit button. And now it is again processing. And now we can again listen the voice. If this video was helpful, please hit the like button, share it with others, and subscribe to the channel. Let me know your thoughts, questions, or feedback in the comments below. Your support really helps the channel grow and motivates me to bring more useful content like this. Thanks. And you can also download again. So now you can see you have two files. And if you go to the download folder, now you have two files and you can use this file. Let me open in VLC media player and show you again. The file is also working. If this video was helpful, please hit the like button, share it with others and subscribe to the channel. Let me know your thoughts, questions or feedback in the comments below. Your support really helps the channel grow and motivates me to bring more useful content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. So this is how you can generate the unlimited text to speech on your Windows PC 100% free with no payment and no API cost. So let's see how to do this step by step. So now I am on my Windows 11 machine and let me show you how to do the things step by step. So the very first step you have to download the setup file and this is the setup file. So what I will do, I will provide you the setup file link in the description section. You can download this and you can follow the entire step. So the very first step is to download the Piper TTS for Windows. So for that, you have to go to this URL. Let me copy this URL and then paste this URL. And here you will able to see a lot of versions. So basically you have to download the Windows version AMD64. Let me download it. Now it is now downloaded. So now it is downloaded in my download folder. Let me go to my download folder. And what I have to do, I have to extract it all. So right click and extract all. And I want to extract this in C drive. 
so to do this i have to go to the c drive and then here i had to extract it now this is extracted in c drive and you will able to see a folder called piper and inside that you will see some files there the next step is to download the voices so we can download the multiple voice or single voice based on your requirement so what we have to do we have to go to this url let me copy the url link and again go to this url and now here you can see that there are a lot of language voices e and us stands for english voice so i am selecting the e and us so within en you have a engb and en us so engb stands for united kingdom and then united state so i will go for us and then in that you have multiple voice based on your requirement you can download the voice but for demo purpose i will download only two voices so let me download the join voice so i will click the join and in that you have a medium folder and in this you can see there are two files one is called dot o n n x and other one is the dot json file so the o n n x file is basically a opal natural language exchange file you have to download both these files so let me download this and let me download the dot json file also okay now let me go back and i will download one more file let's download one female voice okay here we again we have a medium folder and then we have two files dot o n n x and dot json file so let's download both the files and also dot json file okay now in my download folder i have actually two voices one with male voice and another with female voice now what we have to do according this we have to create a folder in the piper folder called voices so let me copy and go to the c drive and we have to create a folder inside this folder called voices and then we have to move all these file inside the voices folder let me cut and again go to the piper voices and then paste it here so in the step number 3 we can generate the text to speech using the command prompt so let me open the cmd command prompt as an administrator and what i want to generate you can see here my text is hello welcome to my youtube channel and i am using this voice to generate the file so if you want you can change according to your requirement let's say i want to generate a file in this format or in female voice so what i will do i will just rename it select entire file including file extension and copy it and then in this location i will just replace it and then i will just copy this and paste it in the command prompt and hit enter now you can see that it started generating the file and now file is now generated if you go to the piper folder you can see that this is my file let me open this output and you can see the voice is now generated okay but our intention is not to use the command line tool our intention is to use the ui method so let's move to the next step you can completely skip the step number 3 now the step number 4 is also optional if you want you can convert the file wav to mp3 you can download this particular uh, file and then after that you just need to run this particular line in the command prompt but for now i am not using this option you can use any free tool to convert the 
WAV file in any format. Our intention is to create a GUI method. In the next step, step number five, we have to install the Python. We have to either install the Python version 3.10 or 11. So what we have to do, we have to go to this download link. And then if you scroll down, you will be able to see the versions and scroll down. You will see a version called 3.11 point something. Now I can see a Python version 3.11.9. I will download the 64 bit. And now let me install this also. And before installing the Python, make sure that you select this second option, add python.txt to path and then click on install. And now it will take some time to complete the installation. Now the Python app is successfully installed. Let me close this. And now what we have to do, we have to make sure that Python is installed properly. So to check this, you have to run this command Python version and open the command prompt again as an administrator and then paste this command and if you are getting a version it means the python is now successfully installed now what is the next step we have to do we have to install the required packages so again we have to run this command and install the required packages let me run this command and run again And now you can see it is downloading the required packages. Now all the required packages are successfully installed. If you are getting this line, meaning that the script is now executed completely and successfully. Now the next step is to create a web UI using a script. So what you have to do, so basically you have to create a file with this name. Let me open a text file. And let me save this file and I have to save this file in the same folder Piper and then here you have to save this file with this name and select it all and make it save okay now if you go there you have a file with this name dot python what we have to do we have to cop copy this entire text from here till here copy this and you have to save this here here what you can do if you want you can modify some of the text like in my case my UI console heading is like free offline text to speech if you want you can change your name also as per your choice and then what you have to do again you have to go to the same same file and save it now if you go here you can see that the file is there and if you open in notepad just to make sure that the file is properly saved we can see that the content is in the file now what we have to do now we have to run this particular command to open the web console so let me run this command 
again we have to run this command so let me close this command prompt and again let me open the command prompt as an administrator and now we can see that running a local url so this is the url you have to copy and then you have to go to browser and then paste this url and run it now you can see the same ui now here you can paste the text let me paste the text so this one i will paste it and now we have to select the voice you can see because we have downloaded only two voice that is why we are getting only two voice here if you are adding more voice you will get more and more voices so now i have two voice let me click on submit now you can listen the voice and you can also download the voice so let me download it again now let me select the second voice and again click on submit and now you can again download the voice from here now the second voice is also downloaded now important point is that when you are using this ui interface or you are using this site don't close this command prompt otherwise your ui is not going to let me show you let me close this and if i click on submit you will get an error okay so now next time when you want to open it again you have to open the command prompt as an administrator and then again you have to run the same command cd piper and then launch this particular uh, python file you will get the url again copy it again go to the browser paste it and then you can use this ui console to generate more voices and the last thing i want to show you is that you can see here we have two voices but the name is not familiar so what we can do we can change the name also so to do this what we have to do again we have to go to the same piper folder and in the voices we can see that we have two files so what we have to do we have to change or rename the file so this will i will say okay this is a female voice you can change any name as per your requirement but i will change it for female don't change the extension only the file name and same thing for this one also you have to start from here it should be female.onnx.json file in the same fashion let me rename this file with male name and then same thing i have to change here now what we can do we can just close this again we have to close this then we have to again open the command prompt as an administrator and then we have to again run the same command now copy the local url and go to the browser paste it and now you can see that file name is also now changed and we will see the familiar name now so that's all for this video in the next video i will show you another free offline way to create more impactful voices